Marley was dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that. The register of the burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Scrooge signed it, and Scrooge's name was good upon change for anything he chose to put his hand to. Old Marley was as dead as a doornail. Mind, I don't mean to say that I know, of my own knowledge, what there is particularly dead about a doornail. I might have been inclined myself to regard a coffin nail as the deadest piece of ironmongery in the trade, but this wisdom of our ancestors is in the simile, and my unhallowed hands shall not disturb it, or the country's done for. You will therefore permit me to repeat, empathetically, that Marley was dead as a doornail. Merry Christmas everyone, it's Tampa J here, and I just want to wish you all a happy, most beautiful day. And wherever you are right now, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I'm about to see a movie that has inspired one of my favorite novels of all time, which happens to be Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Every year I always read this book. I read the parts that I love because I, I've in fact read it so much and so many of times. Ever since I was in the seventh grade and I got to see a live action play of The Christmas Carol, I have been hooked on it and I love it dearly. It's just such a, a magical story that inspires the heart with Christmas spirit and I'm sure you will all have read this story by the time you watch my video here or know of it uh, if you haven't please indulge and please share the story with your children now the movie that i am about to see today is called the man who invented christmas and the reason i am seeing this is because this is the story basically uh the story of charles dickens and his story of creating a Christmas Carol. I'm gonna go watch it. So I'm here at the AMC theater, my local neighborhood movie theater, and I'm about to see The Man Who Invented Christmas, starring Christopher Plummer, Dan Stevens, and Jonathan Price. The story of the making of A Christmas Carol. I'm gonna go watch the movie come out and do a little review on it and I thank you guys again for watching me on this fine Christmas I want to shout out to movie mania Nick you are my main inspiration for this movie review sir if you haven't watched movie mania Nick I strongly urge you to subscribe to movie mania Nick he's a good friend of mine and he does some awesome movie reviews well come along with me please I'll be right back, actually. So I just finished watching The Man Who Invented Christmas and the story of the making and the writing of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. And boy, did I enjoy it. I thought it was a very magical and inspirational film, telling the story of how Charles Dickens wrote A Christmas Carol, uh, full of uh, warmth and good humor. And it explained Charles' life and how he thought and how his personal life experience, like most of his books, influenced the writing of A Christmas Carol. And throughout the movie, there's there's some good, as I said before, there's some good humor. Um, a lot of things that Charles Dickens uh, encountered or experienced in his everyday life that influenced the characters of his book. I couldn't help but get emotional to watch it. And I, and I do think if you really appreciate A Christmas Carol as much as I do in the writing, you will love this film. And it will inspire you too. 
and it will warm your heart. And I strongly recommend uh, for you to go take your family. If you can, make sure you watch maybe a Christmas Carol film or dabble again and read the book. That way you can um, you can pick up on some of the secret and hidden things that I found in this this story and this awesome movie. I will definitely be seeing it again. Charles Dickens was just a just a great man, you know, in time of need. He had his personal experiences. He wrote from his heart and he had a gift. And he's inspired Christmas. He inspired Christmas for us all. Really do truly believe this is a great movie. It may not be for everyone, but for me it was. And I thank you guys for listening. Thank you for um, hearing what I have to say about it. And I'm glad it turned out very good. So that being said, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. God bless us. Everyone. Girl. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons that they teach. Oh, tell me I may sponge away the writing on this stone. Thanks again for watching. Much ahead. Much ahead.